things you said to me was, in a crisis, liquidity is more important than capital. Yeah. And I uh, nodded my head knowingly, but I actually don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, 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 here's, well I, will, I will tell you this. A lot of people don't know, and a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of bankers didn't know what liquidity is. Because I would say liquidity is the cash on hand you have if you, you can't raise other sources of money. So I would say to Fannie or Freddie or Bear Stearns, how much liquidity would you have? And they'd say 30 days or whatever. And they were totally wrong because they were saying, well, if the markets keep performing the way they have in, in, in the future, the way they have in the past, that's what I've got. But the way to look at liquidity is to say this. If everyone that can withdraw money from you does, if every lender who can call down capital from you does, uh, then how long can you last? And, the, and, and so when you have a firm like Bear Stearns that had prime brokerage accounts and you know, managed money from hedge funds and went and made 60-day loans to the hedge funds, but we're doing overnight financing in the repo market uh, and just assuming they could keep going with their securities and borrow against mortgage securities that were selling for 50 cents on the dollar, borrow at, at, at close to 100 cents a dollar. That's not the way the world works. And so you, capital is a really crude measure. And you, know, you can have plenty of capital on your balance sheet that works for, for good market conditions, but during tough market conditions, when AAA rated securities or corporate bonds are not liquid, you don't have enough capital. Right. So the best way to do this, and I watched it in 94 and 98, where investment banks that were funding themselves with commercial paper or on a short-term basis got in trouble. And so at Goldman Sachs, we just said, we're not so smart that we can figure this all out, so we're going to just keep cash. Right. But even then, if you're a financial institution, you can't keep enough cash on hand to protect yourself from a 75-year storm. That's why I believe that no bank or financial institution that's not government-owned should ever have a AAA rating. Right. Well, that's, a, that's another interesting point is uh, the rating systems and that point yeah. about uh, AAA and yeah. the government. Uh, but does that extend to us as business owners that we talk about capital and access to capital, but what you're really talking about is what can you draw down right now in the worst conditions? Well, I, I think it does, but it is not as pronounced as for banks. Although I've never seen a industrial company get in trouble because they've got too much capital or too much liquidity. And the time the, the one time I saw it impacting industrial companies is just to take you back. So we had Lehman, Merrill, and, and AIG going down all the same weekend. Merrill got bought, and if B of A had bought Lehman, then Merrill would have gone down, it would have been worse. We're, a loan worked for AIG because you could loan against the insurance companies that were perceived to be well capitalized and had independent credit ratings, and the market perceived it just to be liquidity at the holding company. When, when the market wouldn't accept that anymore, we had the TARP. But when we had the run on the money market funds, I had not just a good number of the biggest money market funds calling me and saying they were getting ready to implode. I had a good number of industrial companies uh, call and I was talking to a CEO the other day he was taking me through it I remember the call I had from a CEO of a triple A industrial company huge company and he, he called and said my treasurer says I might not be able to make and this was Tuesday or Wednesday make the send out the 800 million quarterly dividend payment I need to make because the commercial paper market has gone and I could so quickly see, because when CFOs and treasuries are going with the very biggest companies and calling their boss and saying, boss, we may not have liquidity, so then they can't pay their suppliers. Uh, and they start cutting back 
on their working capital. You see how that goes through, and that goes quickly to their suppliers, to smaller companies, and then you, you get this vicious cycle of failures, which is a, uh, you know, is, I, I could just see it moving very quickly from, from, from Wall Street to Main Street, and that's really a liquidity.